This week, Google launched Gemma 3, its latest open large language model. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install this directly on your Google Pixel device with the help of the newly launched native Linux terminal feature. Since this is using Android's new terminal, this could technically be installed on any Android phone or tablet that ends up getting that same update. Gemma 3 is Google's newest open LLM. This means that it can be installed on your device and you can use it without needing to access the internet. So there's no need to worry about it collecting your data. Google says Gemma 3 is a collection of lightweight, state-of-the-art open models, and it has been built with the same research and tech that they use for Gemini 2.0 models. And since Gemini 3 is portable, that means it can run on a single GPU, even this GPU that is inside our smartphone. And it's got a ton of features built into it. So it's an ideal choice for those who want to develop a new application or service that utilizes these models. It comes in a range of sizes, but we'll be sticking with the 1 billion option in today's guide. For this to work, I'm going to assume your Android device has installed the update that adds in the native Linux terminal application. I'm only seeing this on Google Pixel devices right now, but again, this could be released to a wider Android community in future updates. I'm also going to assume that you have already enabled the Linux terminal feature as well. That toggle can be found within the developer options menu, but if you need help with this, then there's no need to worry. I have already shown how to install this in a previous video, so I'll be sure to link to that guide in the video description below. And I'll put that link in the pinned comment here as well, so that it's easy for everyone to find. Now, once you have enabled this feature and you have access to the native terminal app, open it up and you're gonna to need to tap on the gear icon in the top right here. Now, you're going to need to resize the disk so you have enough storage to run the large language model locally. Even with the smallest model that we're going to install, it's going to need more storage than this terminal gives you by default. So tap on the disk resize option from here and then drag that slider over to the right. I'm not exactly sure how much is needed, but after I set this to 12.2 gigabytes, the installation of Gemma 3 went through without an issue. So I recommend you resize the disk to this size, but you can experiment with shrinking this down as small as possible if you'd like. Now we can get to actually installing Gemma 3 on our Android smartphone. We're going to need to execute the apt update and apt upgrade commands, just so we can confirm that everything is up to date. So we're gonna type sudo apt update. And then let your Linux terminal download those headers. Then we do sudo apt upgrade just to make sure that we have everything installed properly. I also recommend you install curl with a sudo apt install but I have found that this is already installed and it's already going to have the newest version so I don't believe that is required. Now with that done we're going to execute the command curl dash fs capital sl space https colon forward slash forward slash olama.com forward slash install dot sh. We're going to add a space to the end of that and then we're going to pipe with sh. Now I'll have this full command in the video description below so you can just copy and paste it if you like. And once that's typed out or pasted, we're going to tap enter 
to execute it. Now what this is doing is it's fetching the install script from the Olama website, and then it's going to run that script. And that script's going to install almost everything that's needed, and it will even run that Olama service for you. So we're gonna wait until this completes, and then we'll proceed with the installation. Now, how long this process takes to download and install will depend on a couple of factors, like how fast your internet connection is, and how fast the processor and GPU are in your device. Now, when you get a notification request asking about a new port, we're going to accept that. And we can check to make sure everything went through correctly by pulling up a web browser and going to the URL localhost colon 11434. As long as you get an Olama is running message here, then that means it is running properly and you can continue with this guide. Again, if it's not running, it may be from that port request not being allowed properly. It may be from you running out of disk space. So look at the error, look at the text within your terminal window to get an idea of what's going on. From here, we're going to need to download the model itself. And we do this by executing the command olama space pull space Gemma three colon and then the size and again we're going to be using the one billion one in this guide since we're only running on a smartphone so again olama pull Gemma three colon one b and again i'll have all of these commands in the video description so we tap enter and it's going to go through and download that model you get an ETA right here. So you're just going to be patient while everything gets downloaded. And this is the area that I first got a out of disk space error. So be sure that you expand and resize that partition before you try to download this massive model. Once that completes, it's going to digest all of that information. And as long as you didn't get an error and you see this success message, then you should be able to run this local model just fine. We do that by typing olama space run space Gemma three and then again, we do that colon and 1B. So once that's typed out, we tap enter. You're going to see another port request, we accept. And now you get a prompt here. You can ask it a question, ask it to do something for you. Let's say, what year did Android 4.4 come out. We tap enter. And we get an answer, just like you would get an answer from any other LLM. And we can see that Android 4.4 KitKat was released in 2013. Previously, when I tested this out, my Pixel 8 was not the most performant device to run Gemma 3 on. There was a lot of lag as the output was going one word at a time, and I assumed that that was just because of the performance of my device. But at least you can see that it's running without any errors. I've seen people with the Pixel 9 series and get responses much faster than I got yesterday on my Pixel 8. So I'm curious to see what the lowest spec that can run this without it being too slow. So if any of you have a Pixel 8 Pro that you can test with, 
or even just the base model of the Pixel 9, I would be curious to hear how it's running on your device. And please, do not forget to like this video, as it really helps to keep me motivated here, and subscribe to the channel as well, since we're getting really close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone.